The city of Radford is hoping a recent purchase can help stimulate some economic development. The city bought industrial land they believe will attract large businesses to the area. And 10 News reporter Duke Carter spoke with a business owner who feels that the new land will help bring more foot traffic to Radford. According to Radford city leaders, they want to bring in a big business to the western portion of the city. And one incentive is the railroad. That business could easily get supplies. There you go. Well, thank you, sir. I think it's good. Josh Box owns a small business on West Main Street in Radford, and he feels it's a no-brainer to see new development in the western portion of the city. I think, it, you know, if we can do something and bring in more people into the town and expand, um, do something different. Box has a collectible shop full of toy cars. So he's hoping to see more cars on West Main Street now that the city has purchased the foundry. You know, help local businesses grow towards the interstate. I think it's a good thing. This is big news for the city of Radford, for the New River Valley, for Southwest Virginia. Radford's mayor, David Horton, says the city is buying the Radford Foundry for $250,000. The entire site is 80 acres, and the goal is to develop 30 acres of land. Now, the foundry was founded in 1880 as the Radford Iron Coal Company and employed about 1,500 people at its peak in the late 1970s. The site closed in 2013. While it was a heavy industrial site for many years, we think it can be reimagined into modern 21st century jobs and opportunity. City leaders say there are several ideas on what could be developed. One is more green space. The purpose for purchasing the land is to create jobs. We want to work with the Commonwealth to find a way to bring in jobs, to bring in new business, to bring in new opportunity for Radford. But the site is bigger than that because it provides us opportunity for potentially passive recreation. Something this toy car enthusiast hopes to see. These time of days, I mean, so many things are shutting down and stuff like that. So it's an opportunity to grow and bring more jobs into the market. Radford city leaders are hoping in the long run that there will be a trail that connects the eastern portion of the city to the western portion of the city. For now, the reporting here in Radford, Duke Carter, 10 News, working for you.